Hey, thanks for tuning in. I have something fun to share with you today and it is the 5050 Panko Spam Burger. So delicious. So all you need is one can of Spam, three to four strips of cooked bacon, one package of panko breadcrumbs, hamburger buns, some mayo, this is Koopi mayonnaise, this is a Japanese style mayonnaise, it's not labeled but it's spelled K-E-W-P-I-E, -E. and canola oil. So the fun fact about this recipe is the recipe I use to win the 2016, I think, Colina Spam Jam. I won first place and the judges loved it and they just wanted more. And I am very happy to be able to share it with you today. I haven't really cooked it since. We don't eat Spam all the time, but when we do, it's so delicious. So the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is get our blender. So when we make this patty, it is really a 50-50 patty. So I got the idea down here on the mainland, they have 50-50 hamburgers. So 50% is bacon and 50% is beef. So I said, maybe I could do that with Spam. And I tried it and it turned out well. So here is one can of Spam. I'm go ahead and cut this. I'm gonna cut it in fours before it goes into the blender. And then I pre-cooked the bacon so that it wouldn't take so much time, but go ahead and put that in the blender too. All right. And this is all you need. Don't put any water or anything like that. We don't want the protein watered down. Okay, so let's go ahead and line this up. Turn it on. That'll about do it. So the consistency of this is kind of like a ground spam, I guess. So here you go. You can see how it turned out. I'm going to put it in a bowl. And mix it up a little bit. So, you have to love Spam to love this recipe. If Spam is not your thing, you will not like this recipe, but lots of Filipinos and Hawaiian love Spam. So, it's, it ain't no thing. Okay, so you see how it's kind of ground up like the way we ground up um, ground beef or ground pork. And I'm just gonna mix it a little bit so that the bacon kind of distributes throughout the whole bowl here. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is form them into patties. Okay. So I'm gonna um, form them into maybe about three patties and not too thin because these kind of um, patties are a little bit on the fragile side. So I'm just gonna kind of take make a fistful, kind of make it into a ball here. Okay, here's another fistful. Make it into a ball. And here is my last fistful. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is kind of smash them down so they kind of look like a real hamburger patty. And then kind of squeeze it, smash it, squeeze it so you get a tight fit. Smash it, squeeze it, smash it, squeeze it. Smash it, squeeze it, smash it, squeeze it. Okay. One thing I forgot to mention, of course, is we need an egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the recipe, a cracked egg. 
because what we have to do is go ahead and mix the egg because we're going to dip it in the egg, the patty into the egg, and then into the panko hamburger. Okay, at the same time, I'm going to get my cooking skillet ready. My 14 inch dash cooking skillet. Look at how huge this is. I love this thing. I'm going to turn on my skillet. Get it ready. Put a little bit of oil in it. I would say about a tablespoon. And mix it around a little bit. Put the oil in. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is you saw me form the hamburger patties, the hamburger patties. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and lay my panko crumbs. These are the Japanese style breadcrumbs. You can find them at any Asian store. And you never have any problem finding those. And if you can't, they have this kind of the same difference of breadcrumbs at the regular Ralph's or Albertsons. All right, so I got this egg mixed up. Okay, so this is the fun part. Take your patty, if it feels good to you, it feels kind of squish and a little bit thick, go ahead and dip it in the egg. Okay, then dip it in the panko breadcrumbs. Kind of smash in into the breadcrumbs there and then grab it and smash in the other side. The nice thing too is you can also take the breadcrumbs and smash it in up here to give it more of a crisp when it comes out. Okay, so that's one patty. We'll do the second patty again. Dip it in the egg. Okay, smash it into the breadcrumbs. And here is a close-up view of what it looks like before it goes in. Okay. And I'm going to put fresh breadcrumbs. So these three ingredients are the easiest ingredients and it makes it what it is and it's so delicious. Alright. So it's not the healthiest thing, but it is very delicious. We're eating Spam anyways, might as well eat it like this, <laughs> I guess. Okay, so here is a close-up of this again, and I put more breadcrumbs on top. All right, so let me clear this area out. I'm going to bring my skillet into view. Is my skillet. I know you can see it. It's so huge. So what I did is I oiled it down there. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit on high there. So all you got to do is put your patty in and wait for it to cook. Simple as that. All right. So I'm just Help it along a little bit, put some oil on the bottom here because the skillet is so big. So let me give you a better view here by lifting this off. Alright. So it is on medium heat. And um, it took about five minutes each side to make it super crunchy. So the one thing about Spam that Filipinos and Hawaiians love, it has to be super, super crunchy. So I would say at least five minutes on each side. All right. And just go ahead and place this back. So the nice thing about this recipe is I was able to make a can 
in advance because I have a lot of uh, people here to feed and they love this stuff so nothing goes to waste so I'm just gonna show you what I had cooked here in advance and like magic fast forward 10 minutes later here we got the spam burgers so let me bring one close up to you before I actually put it on the bun. So this one actually turned out really good. Right here. It looks really crispy, crispy on the edges, golden brown. It didn't fall apart much, but it is a good one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hamburger buns. I'm watching my burgers here and show you how I can prepare them. And it's just like any old hamburger. So just take my hamburger bun, of course, and then just take my mayo. beautifully formed 50-50 panko spam burger. All right, so just go ahead and take it, put it on the top. And um, like I said, I didn't have lettuce today, but tomatoes is optional. So just go ahead and cut a few tomatoes, these tiny tomatoes because my son just about eat anything. <laughs> I'm not too worried about food going to waste here. All right, so here you go. Here is a 50-50 panko spamburger. Doesn't that look delicious? And of course, please eat it on a warm bun. It just adds more yummy to it. Okay. And it'd be having, it would have a nice color if there was some lettuce. They don't have it today. And I'm only making essential trips to the groceries. All right. So let me put this one away. And I wanted to show you my other three that I made. So this is another golden brown one. Um, a little bit delicate. It kind of fell apart on the sides there. So I suggest when you're cooking it, only um, kind of turn it around once or twice and that's it. Because the more you mess with it, the more it comes apart. But this still formed really well, but just a little bit of crack. And this one cracked a little bit too, but it's still delicious. When you put it on a bun, no one sees the crack. Just right there. But you see how crispy it is. And um, gosh, this is so good. It's kind of a um, spam version of katsu, like chicken katsu with bacon. All right. Okay, so my burgers are coming along well. So they're still kind of cooking there. I'm probably gonna flip it once and then end the video. But before I do, let me go ahead and review the ingredients. Um, one egg, I forgot to review that one, but one scrambled egg, one canned Spam, three to four bacon strips, one package of panko breadcrumbs, hamburger buns, mayonnaise, canola oil, and optional lettuce and tomatoes. And you won't be sorry if you make this. This won first prize at the Colina Spam Jam. And once you have it, you're gonna want more, but only in moderation, okay? <laughs> okay, let me see if I can uh, flip one of these over. Okay, it's worth flipping over, um, but only once or twice. So this one is, 
kind of cooked. And then this one, kind of cooked too. So they're coming along well. And you see the, the art of that, it was squeezing it together and flattening them out, squeezing and flattening them out. So this, these are not breaking as easily as my previous ones. But they are looking pretty delicious. So let me show you a close up of the top. And that was already about five minutes on the first side there. And then there's a third one. All right. I'm so happy that I was able to share that recipe with you. I hope that you can also make this for yourself and your family. Let me know how it turns out, all right? Well, thanks for listening. Please take care. Have a good rest of your day.